Hey guys, this is Colin at ShiftSynth1. Today we're going to be going over how to connect the circuit to the components editor and the circuit editor. What you're going to need today is the USB MIDI cable that came with the Novation circuit, the Novation circuit, and a computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is connect the MIDI USB cable to the computer. And this is done by connecting it to the MIDI USB port in the back of the Novation circuit. So we're going to plug that in. And we're going to plug the USB cable to the computer. So what I want to do before I open the Novation circuit editor is boot this into the settings mode. This bottom row represents data transmitted to and from the Novation circuit. As you can see here, I actually have one of them grayed out. This transmits MIDI clock data into the circuit. It's because I was playing with an Arteria key step earlier. I did not want the Novation circuit to have the clock sent from the Arteria key step. So I'm gonna actually turn that back on just so I have these all on. One of the things that you want to be extremely careful about are these two buttons right here. These two buttons transmit MIDI CC data and receive MIDI CC data. And you want both of these to be on in order to have the Novation Circuit Editor functioning properly. It's a very common thing to turn off if you're using external gear because, for example, if you were to sync with a Korg Mini Log or a Korg Volca Keys, the MIDI CDC data transmitted from the circuit would mess with the parameters within the core. So I'm going to keep those on and I'm going to press the play button here which will activate the Novation circuit and then I'm going to boot up the Novation circuit editor. So this should sync automatically and as you can see in the Max console it says info circuit handshake success firmware version 3501. So that means that it connected properly. If it did not, it'll come up with an error sign. And the easiest way to get through that is to just shut down the circuit editor, turn off and turn back on the Novation circuit, and then reboot the circuit editor. And hopefully that will fix your issue. So I've adjusted the size of the window here. I'm going to open it up. As you can see, the MIDI port has turned blue and is tied to my circuit. And if I just test it real quick here by turning macro knob 2, you'll see the position adjust on the screen. So I'm going to exit out of the Novation Circuit Editor for now. That's all you really need to do to make sure that it's synced up. And I'm going to open up the Standalone Components Editor. You want to make sure that these two programs aren't running at the same time because um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty convinced that the Novation Circuit Editor and the Components Editor kind of muck with each other. So you'll see here at the bottom, it says connect to circuit. Now, if it's not underlined, it means that it's not detecting a circuit. So the easiest way to fix that is just to, uh, to turn off and restart the Novation Circuit or to restart the Components Editor. Um, this thing gets uh, mucked up all the time. So if I click connect circuit down here, it should connect automatically to my Novation circuit and it will enter bootloader mode on my Novation circuit. So you don't want to mess with the circuit at this point. Bootloader mode is generally just used if you have technical problems with your device and you're working with Novation to fix it, but it will enter bootloader mode for the uh, circuit components editor just by default. It helps you to import and export samples or sessions or patches and to, you're basically just going to be working out of the screen from now on. I am going to just quickly test this by going to my patches and I'm going to get from the circuit which will pull my current patch data. It goes really quickly. It pulled all of my patches. This enables me to send patches uh, to the Novation circuit, send patches to the circuit editor. You can do the same for sessions, samples. Um, it's a good management tool for the various files on your device. It's also where you can get a factory reset and where you can get certain packs that Novation has developed for the circuit. I'm going to go through a detailed 
explanation of the components editor in a later class. But the process for connecting the circuit editor and the components editor were basically the same, so I wanted to get those both out of the way in one lesson. Well, that just about wraps it up here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of this. I know it can be tricky at times, uh, but the most important takeaways are to have all of the lights lit in the settings section of the circuit. And if you ever run into any issues connecting the Novation circuit to these, the editor or the components editor uh, to just restart one or the other or both, and generally that will fix your problem. So yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Um, thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next lesson.